can see here in this model we have facet joint here located right here another facet joint located here and here we know of course there's facet joints on both sides so those are the right ones now an important structure is the disc it's on the front okay. so as we assess we push down in particular regions in particular we could push down on the S2 tubercle of the sacrum when people are lying on their tummy and you can see there's a gapping of that joint right here All right, so you can see that facet joint gapping open a little bit see that and if we assess here we can push and you can see that opens up that joint so often when people are lying on their tummy we have several things that we look for first off is there pain when people are lying on their tummy often people are having pain when they just strictly lie on their stomach there's often a translation of this vertebrae or this vertebrae most commonly it's this L5 vertebrae it will sag anterior so it'll sag down which will bring these joints a little closer together so often patients will have pain and after you know a few seconds or sometimes even tens of seconds that stabilizes and then this joint is not sliding against one another here and the two bony bony surfaces which is where the cartilage is in there so also if we want to perform an adjustment there are techniques that called flexion distraction where we can pull this way and that opens up that specific joint you can see the movement of that facet joint at that location there plus also you can see we can do it at this particular level here and that will open up that joint that has a great effect on stretching the cap the capsule and the facet joint but also the intervertebral disc right? so as you pull it will stretch the posterior elements or the back side of that disc retract it back.